And I think that's really important um, pertaining to this issue. And again, it can be brought up, well, just because something's always been the tradition, just because it's always been that way, doesn't mean it's true right now. But another anthropologist named J.D. Unwin has shown um, from his research in his book that every society that has become more loose in their understanding of marriage and has become loose in their um, stance as only between, being between a man and a woman has soon deteriorated, and many times rapidly. Um, Rome is an example, but there's a lot of other examples um, in their society and in their family relationships. And so because of all of these reasons, I believe that um, civilization, history, shows us that marriage should be only between a man and a woman. It's the natural order of things. It's been recognized as such for a long period of time, but um, I think it's bigger than that. It's not just because it's been recognized as such for a long period of time, but I believe that God ordained it to be that way. And um, throughout the Bible, from the beginning of Genesis um, in chapter 2 all the way through the New Testament and in Corinthians, we see that God is opposed to homosexual relationships and not just promiscuity in homosexual relationships. A lot of times people say, well, maybe homosexuality is not wrong, maybe just being promiscuous in those relationships are wrong, but that's not the case. Any kind of homosexual relationship um, is is clearly wrong when you look at scripture. And I believe um, the natural order of things, how God created us physically and biologically is proof of that. In, in a homosexual relationship, even if it was legally recognized as marriage, there would be no um, future for a generation of people like that. There would be no offspring. There's no procreation that can happen in that kind of relationship. And I believe that's another point in case to show that marriage is something sacred and it is something that should be between a man and a woman. And that's why God created us the way we're created. And that's why um, the natural order that God has set up from the beginning of time until today has consistently proven um, that societies that have this kind of marriage statutes that they thrive and those that become loose and cavalier on this point that they deteriorate in light of this i think it's crucial for the preservation of our society that marriage be recognized as a sacred and legal union sanctioned to be lifelong and sexually exclusive between one man and one woman moreover um i think that there is a valid issue in them saying that they're being denied civil rights. We certainly can't ignore that. And a lot of times, um, I think some prop opponents of gay marriage, which I agree with, have been too zealous and maybe misguided in their efforts um, and kind of run over people that have been asking for civil rights. And I think there is something valid in that, and I want to bring up that point. But um, I believe that the point that they're that the proponents of gay marriage make to say that, well, if we cannot be legally recognized as married, that we are being denied a civil right, um, is the fallacy of false dilemma. They're saying, if this isn't the case, if we can't be legally married, then we don't have rights, then we don't have equality, then we're being discriminated against. But just as was alluded to earlier, the state of California, as well as most of the nation, gives them the same rights with their couples, um, their significant other, in the areas of income tax, insurance, hospital um, visitation, and even in adoption and child rearing, a lot of expansion has been made in the rights that homosexual couples have. And so I believe that it's a fallacy to say that they don't have civil rights just because um, marriage as an institution is not recognized as being for them. So in conclusion, I believe that marriage is only and should be recognized as between a man and a woman. That's how it was set up and created to be. That's how it's proved successful throughout all of history. And I believe as a nation that we need to recognize that as such right now. Um, we need to take action so that legislation is passed that confirms this as such so that in future generations, you know, as this issue is only going to continue to grow and its controversy, that there will be legislation that provides for this to um, be Again, I'm sorry, that legislation is provided for that um, gay marriage is illegal and stands that way and so that it cannot be encroached upon. I also believe that the actions that we take today for our generation um, are not only going to have an impact on us, but on the continuing generations and our society as a whole. 
And if we seek to continue and to thrive and to truly be a light to other nations, then we need to take this seriously and um, leave a legacy for the continuing generations to follow. Thank you very much. All right.